super hot outside and today I'm gonna show you a little bit of more behind the scene with Monster Jam and the Lucas Stabilizer truck but I'm also gonna show you a little bit more of the dirt side I'm gonna stay a little bit longer and show you how they get all the dirt outside the stadium so stay tuned for more behind the scenes so we are in Nissan Stadium in Nashville and each stadium is a little bit different so this stadium is on turf so what it means is that we have turf as a base we actually put a little material on top of it to protect it and over that we put plywood sheet and after that we put the dirt so like this we protect the turf for the stadium so the way they function with the dirt crew is you have a night shift so there's a couple dirt guys that came later last night and they actually got all the dirt in there's another crew that come during the day and actually build all the junk so it's a team effort So they just got done building the backflip and this year we are actually using metal ramp. So there's a base of metal ramp and they fill it everything with dirt. So it's really consistent for driver and we know what's the speed to hit it every time. I actually never hit one yet because it's brand new from this year. So hopefully I get to try it this weekend. So each track is really precise. Uh, every dirt guy get a map and there's a lot of measurement and they want to make sure everything is on point for all the driver so it's really important the way they cut the ramp I'm gonna get out of their way and I'm gonna go check out my Lucas stabilizer truck let's go see it Here is my trailer. So each trailer can fit two Monster Jam truck in it. The crew guy keep it pretty clean. So we usually put all eight tire here. With that little ramp. And the two Monster Jam truck fit in this trailer. So we just finished a meeting. I actually got a number 10 on my pick. So it's actually mean I'm going first in racing, not what I wanted, because it will be slick. I, they have to put so much water on down the track. So it's good later. So when you're first to race, it's not the best because you get a really slick first pass, but we'll get it done. I'm excited. I'm excited to be back in the truck. And uh, I love this truck. So it should be a lot of fun. So. In a couple of minutes, I'll go put in my fire suit, go sweat, and uh, go for my practice pass. Wish me luck. This is the tunnel for the weekend. It's actually not too tight, but it should be pretty fun. I've done it before, so I know I can fit a Monster Jam truck in that tunnel. Okay, just got in my changing room and this weekend because it's like a non-dread outside, I actually have to bring two fire suits. So if one get really sticky wet from practice, I have another one because sometime from one day to the other, it doesn't have time to dry. So at least we got two fire suits, but it's, I'm soaking wet right now and it's only been like an hour. So wish me luck. <laughs> It's like being in a sauna and driving a Monster Jam truck right now. It is almost a non-dread for a night outside and that's without having a fire suit, a helmet. It is so hot. It's going to be a challenge. To stay focused and to try to perform is definitely going to be a challenge. I know last year was that hot in Nashville and it's unbelievable. It's hot. But we can do it. I mean everybody is on the same, same situation but it's definitely hot. <laughs> I got to do a second pass and 
it was much better. This dirt is kind of tricky because you can slide, but it also grip you. So I was almost on three wheel at some point, but I went for it and uh, it felt much better. I feel confident for tomorrow. Woo! Almost all out. Pretty exciting. It's almost time for bed. Getting excited. 